a low run and let's start some virals for Master League. Today I'm going to use the same team as I used some weeks before. It's composed by Dialga Sino with Palkia Origin and Lander Sterian. Let's find out if this team is still nice for the current meta since now the Necrotomy is everywhere. So this guy add Palkia, send Landers and I just switch for Palkia. So here the things look simple. You have to go for Aquatail before this guy reach another sense here to apply pressure. And this one is only five, so you know it's sense here, so no worries, you can survive very well the sense here storm. And that guy just undercharged the sense here to give some farm for his home pocket, but it's still fine. I'm doing some wasting clock here and then bring the auto and let's see what's in the back. This guy is standing, probably is going to, to throw the special end, but it was only a bait, and it's the Necrozma. This is the... Um, not the Dawning, I can't remember now the name from this Necrozma, but this is the Necrozma that's weak against Landra, so it's fine by me. And you don't underestimate that Sun Seal Strike, that thing hurts a lot, and you have to shield it and you have to apply pressure with Landras and this will be the CMP here, I guess nice so I guess Necrozma is now over and this Palkia and this guy just surrenders and it's going to be a good game this Necrozma is the Dusk main some people run the Dusk main, some people run the Dawn mains but I guess the most popular should be the Duskman because it has a better typing and it can resist very well dragons like Dialga and even Palkia. Palkia is a, a balanced battle but it resists very well Dialga so probably we will see more the Duskman instead of the Dawnwings but Dawnwings is a very safe switch unless you do start to see some Zeruds and Eveltals on the current meta so this guy start with uh, a bad lead and then switch for Chernius. I'm going for the Landers and after the first sun here I'm going to throw a stone to knock out the Chernius. This guy decides to shield. Very interesting. I'm forced to do it as well. And this guy goes for close combat and I'm going to shield twice. I want to keep the alignment. It's very important. I will farm as much as I can. Throw the this sun here. So Chernus is down and now I'm going for another Sun Seer and I know this will be cheap damage on that Palkia and I can bring Gyalga now safely and it's another Dusk Man across the second one and you will see why Palkia is a, a, a decent counter for Necrozma because it reaches first the charge move and the Aqua Tail from Palkia is doing some decent damage on the Necrozma, which is very important. So now we are both with shields down and this Necrozma will turn out to be farm for my Dialga. And now it's Palkia, I'm forced to throw this Draco because I don't want this Palkia to do cheap damage on my Dialga because I know this Necrozma can reach a charge move and that thing hurt a lot, but my Dialga survived and it's going to be a good game. That's why I immediately throw the Draco on Palkia on that situation, because if I decide to farm a little bit, that Sun Steel Strike will knock out my Dialga. So let's move for the next battle. So as, I, as far as I see, this team is doing well. I got two Palkis on the lead and the Cosmos in the back with Landers, the that will be the most popular teams now and this team is very well prepared for those teams so now it's a lander's lead as you know it's a bad lead what i do usually here when this guy reaches the sun seer storm i just try to catch with my own landers but this guy has a kyogre in the back and what a answer for my landers not the answer i wanted to see but things happen and Kyogre now is a solid pick as well because it does some decent damage on the Necrozmas and all. 
which oh, is everywhere because of the dust mill. And now I'll bring Yalga, and the game plan is to farm down all the way. And we don't even know what's in the back yet, so the things are not looking that good. And this guy has energy on landers. I tried to catch the Sun Seer on my own landers, but this guy hold on the char moves. And I will try to catch now on Palkia. It's like one more fast move, I guess. Yeah. But again, this guy hold on, but it throws after one fast move, so it's only a Sun Seer. And it's uh, opposing the Alga in the back. So the things are not great at all. In this game, I got very well countered. Not sure if I can flip it, but I will try. But with this HP on my Dialga, it's almost impossible because I I guess I can't reach two Hyronets in time on that Landers because I have no HP. So I'm going just to throw this Draco. Let's see if this guy decides to flex. It would be really funny if this guy decides to flex, but no, no flex and it's going to be a good game. So first defeat here got countered. The previous games I got decent leads. And now the game just don't wanted me to beat this guy, unless this guy decided to make some big mistake. So let's move for the next battle. And now it's a Zygarde lead, which is very fine. And this guy just brings Shadow here. I advise you to shield the um, Brave Bird, because Brave Bird does several damage on Palkia because it's a shadow hole and it's got size to shield which tells me I have to shield I guess from this range wouldn't be enough but with incinerates probably could be enough if it's got size to shield uh, and size to shield again this guy is very weird <laughs> what this guy is doing so I, I got a shield as well I want to keep the alignment so a hole is down and it's a dialg in the back so the things are looking great I'm going to throw this special end on Dialga good damage there and here you have to bring landers why because this guy has energy for a lot of time and you need your home Dialga to beat Zygarde in the back I just switch it immediately this guy do the same and Draco Meteor will shred this Zygarde I don't let this guy reach in the earthquake I'm going to throw first the Draco Meteor and Zygarde is down and it's going to be a good game so Landros was only here to absorb that possible roar of time. Because if you if I decide to go for Dialga, it would be the huge mistake of my life in this battle. Because I would instantly lose. So I had to bring Landros to absorb that damage. And let's move for the final battle. So as you see here, you don't need really the Necrozma to be competitive. But yeah, Palkia Origin is it's a kind of difficult Pokemon to obtain now because you can get that special rent because you can't use the legacy elites to do it so kind of annoying you have to get some friend with that Pokemon with the move and let's move for the next battle and final one so it's a Kyogre lead some guys like to run double fairy but this guy has a Necrozma dust man <laughs> which is kind of funny because Landers is here just for this Pokemon and like and some other Pokemon like the other, but especially for this annoying Pokemon. I guess if you don't have a decent counter for this thing, it's really difficult to play around. And this guy goes for a dark pose because it goes on for six or seven. And I, I knew this guy needed like eight, but no, I guess this was seven. And now, Landers is down, I will bring Dialga and this guy has uh, his own Dialga in the back. So, I have shield disadvantage, so you have to call the opposing player a bait to, in order to beat this battle. You can shield your own Dialga. And this guy will go for higher on it, probably. No, goes for Thunder, but still fine. Thunder is an awful move on Dialga Origin, and this guy probably add this Dialga without the legacy move and can give him the roar of time and now it's Pog against Kyogre and it's going to be a good game. So in my opinion this team is very well prepared for the current meta. I'm doing very well with this core. 
if you have the chance to build this card, just use it because you don't really need Necrozma in order to beat the meta with this card. If you have a Necrozma, even better for you. I don't have it a good one at the moment. I will try to build one in the future, and this is it. So I will try to reach expert rank as soon as possible. Hope you enjoyed this video, and see you next time.